Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here. And today I'm actually asking the question, will Amazon soon fire its army of developers? And I think it's a good one, and maybe not all of them, but the majority. And depending on how you take, quite frankly, a lot of what somebody from Amazon said, we're about to get into that, it could go either way. And I've got a lot of thoughts on this. But I think this is a bit of a portents or harbinger for the future. And here's what's going on. Now, there's a really good article about this uh, from Business Insider by Eugene Kim that you should definitely check out. But according to Amazon Web Services CEO, Matt Garman, who basically shared his thoughts on the specific topic of AI and coding during an internal fireside chat held in June, we might see that. And I quote, <clears throat> if you go forward 24 months from now, or some amount of time, I can't exactly predict where it is. It's possible that most developers are not coding. Coding is just kind of like the language that we talk to computers. It's not necessarily the skill in and of itself. The skill in and of itself is like, how do I innovate? How do I go build something that's interesting for my end users to use? Now, that means essentially that the job of software developer, at least in, in his mind for Amazon, is going to change. And I continue his quote. It just means that each of us has to get more in tune with what our customers need and what the actual end thing is that we are going to try to go build because that's going to be more and more of what the work is as opposed to sitting down and actually writing code. Now, I need to be fair here to Garmin because in Garmin's case, he was sharing advice um, rather than issuing a dire warning that developers will go stinked, extinct because of AI. That's, again, according to Eugene Kim's writings. His tone, again, according to Kim's writings, was optimistic, suggesting creative opportunities for developers as opposed to like a mass firing of all of them. Now, he also said that AWS was helping employees, quote, continue to upskill and learn about new technologies, end quote, to increase their productivity with the help of AI. Now, an AWS spokesperson, Aisha Johnson, also talking to Business Insider, said that Garmin's comments conveyed opportunities for develop developers to, quote, accomplish more than they do today, end quote, with AI tools. And she added that there's no indication that Garmin expected a decline in the role of developers. But think about it this way. He kind of is in the sense that, you know, if you're really good, for example, at, um, you know, chat GPT, now what are they calling you? Like a prompt engineer? I mean, ridiculous, you know? And so by virtue of that, if you have a very special talent or very special skill in coding, and quite frankly, they are spending a lot of money you doing this and they can basically pay an AI to do it for vastly less expensive, then you stop coding. And so by virtue of that, like anybody else that needs to be retrained, and we used to say, oh, well, you lost that blue collar job. What are you going to be training as now? What are you going to retrain as? Well, we'll retrain you for coding. This is now kind of the realm that we're coming into. And I think it would be ridiculous to think that as generative AI, which can code for the record, I've had ChatGPT output me scripts and other types of codes as tests, all this kind of stuff, and it's pretty good and will continue to get better, that quite frankly, this is fundamentally going to shift the job because if you've trained in coding and you know coding languages left and right and this is your thing, you're not really going to be needed in the future, I think. you know. And so by virtue of that, what does that become? In the sense that maybe we need 5% of all the coders we need to double check the AI's output in the same way that we are seeing it write uh, local articles for local newspapers and publications on local sports scores, all this kind of stuff. And it's being more and more leveraged into major publications uh, you know, on the news side. This is no different. This is what Goldman Sachs was talking about when they were talking about the major displacement of 300 million jobs worldwide in the next few years as a result of the growth and improvement of artificial intelligence. And so coders are one of those that are up there. Now, Now Garmin may be putting a good spin on it. He may be optimistic in this sense. But the reality of the, the, the matter is they are not going to be paying out tens of millions of dollars a year combined in salaries or more for coders when they can pay a fraction of that for AI and just have a handful of coders double check in the work. And so by virtue of that, this is what we're talking about. Now, those new and innovative products, oftentimes what they are talking about for, for Amazon to develop internally is also based off of the testing, the questionnaires, the engagement they have with their customers that say, you know what, we really could use this feature or wouldn't it be cool to see this? Or 
you know, somebody puts it out in the ether that, you know, some widget X thing, whatever is needed, Amazon takes the ball and runs with it as do other corporations. And so I really just don't see this. I'm not trying to be doom and gloom here. I think coding is a very important thing, but quite frankly, the computers can do it and they don't require salaries. They don't require coffee breaks. They don't require lunch. They don't require sleep. And, and that is something that is coming, quite frankly, for a lot of jobs. And we longitudinally as a society have to figure out how we're going to deal with that because I don't want to see the next couple of years legions of coders simply losing their jobs and what are we going to retrain them as truck drivers no automation's coming for that too so this is a huge thing we're going to see where this goes but quite frankly garmin may have a positive spin on it but longitudinally i don't see how you really can if you're looking at it from the human perspective and please like share follow me here on facebook and twitter at nick aesp and please don't forget to subscribe to me at youtube as well and as always stay safe stay online and please attempt to stay private and if you're a coder Oh, I really hate to be the Debbie Downer in the room. Take care.